A recent advisory from the U.S. Surgeon General revealed that there is an epidemic of loneliness and isolation in the United States. These represent big threats to our health and well-being. On this video, I will share a brief description of what loneliness is, how it can affect our health, and strategies to reduce isolation and loneliness. Many individuals are experiencing loneliness and isolation. Even when we go to work and go shopping for groceries, we may not connect with others or have close relationships with others. The World Health Organization has stated that, in fact, high-quality social connections are essential to our mental and physical health and to our well-being. Surgeon General said that loneliness is far more than just a bad feeling. It harms both individual and societal health. It is associated with a greater risk of cardiovascular disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety, and premature death. The mortality impact of being socially disconnected is similar to that caused by smoking up to 15 cigarettes a day. And even greater than that, associated with obesity, and physical inactivity. The harmful consequences of a society that lacks social connection can be felt in our schools, workplaces, and civic organizations, where performance, productivity, and engagement are diminished. What is social connection? First, it is a continuum of the size and diversity of one's social network and roles. The functions these relationships serve and their positive or negative qualities. Are individuals reaping the benefits of social connection in ways that, uh, such as feeling adequately supported or having high quality, close relationships? individuals' social networks are getting smaller and levels of social participation are declining. Connectedness is influenced by more than simply or interpersonal factors. It is also shaped by the social infrastructure of the community or communities in which one is born, grows up, learns, plays, works, and ages. Social infrastructure includes the physical assets of a community, such as libraries and parks, programs such as volunteer organizations and member associations, and local policies, such as public transportation and housing, that support the development of social connection. All of these shape the availability of opportunities for social connection. How social connection influences health. When people have close relationships with others, partners, family, friends, people live longer. They take their medicines, they exercise, have some type of physical activity, they follow diets, follow treatments and recommendations. They are encouraged to sleep more and have better cognitive function, which protect against the risk of dementia. Therefore, the lack of social connections and loneliness impact health conditions such as cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, infectious disease, cognitive function, depression, and anxiety, self-harm, and suicide. I believe everyone is inherently connected to the world. Here are some strategies that can help us to reduce isolation and loneliness. Be kind to yourself and to others. Answer that phone call from a friend or a family member. 
Reconnect with others. Make time to share a meal. Treat yourself. Listen without the distraction of your phone. Have conversations face-to-face -face or through digital contact. Do volunteer work collaborating with a community group. Express yourself authentically. Embrace your creativity. Take time to explore and expand your hobbies. By doing so, you could find new communities. Therefore, your interests are important. Consider adopting a pet. Get out of the house. Go for a walk. Enjoy nature. Shake it off. Move your body. We are called to build a movement to mend the social fabric of our nation. We can also promote the creation of more age-friendly communities and environments and support laws and policies that foster social connections by improving access to transportation, information, and communication technologies, which can help reduce isolation and loneliness. Laws and policies addressing marginalization, vulnerable groups, and discrimination can also foster greater social connection. Each one of us is 